It's so big, it's almost impossible to film in a single shot. But this is now the longest rail bridge in the UK. And ITV News has been invited to take a first look at this engineering feat of the controversial HS2 project. It's just mad to think that this goes on for another two miles down there. We're northwest of London near Rickmansworth, Hertfordshire, where they built what they're calling the Colne Valley Viaduct and where some of the tens of billions of taxpayer money has been spent. So the challenges I think initially were about creating a structure that appears to tread lightly over the landscape. High speed structures are naturally need to be very large. So a lot of it was about manipulating light and shadow, looking at geometry to try to reduce its sense of scale. Three years in the making, the bridge is built of a thousand precast concrete segments, a bit like Lego blocks, all set into place by a big red launching girder, nicknamed Dominique. Whoa! There's also an inside to the viaduct and big steel cables keep it all together. This steel keeps all the Lego pieces together. Yes, this, this keeps all of the big concrete Lego bits together uh, of our bridge. While this is being celebrated as a huge engineering feat, the truth about HS2 is that it is billions over budget, years behind schedule. And many people say that there won't be a train coming through here for at least another decade. This project has also faced protests from environmental campaigners. Is this a day to celebrate HS2? Not at all. It's been extremely destructive. It's, it's the water, it's the money. They're still spending 100 million every four and a half days. This is public money. I don't think we've done anything damaging to the environment. I think over the course of uh, the construction period, we've actually enhanced it. This is all about high-speed trains. When will we see a high-speed train coming down the viaduct? That is being worked on at the moment, with, and you will know that it just is going through. So you don't through. know? I can't say when, because we're going through a process. People are saying at least a decade. How disappointing is that? It just too, and the government will make the commitments by spring next year. This might be a record-breaking bridge, but it's built on a railway that's going nowhere fast. Rex Martel, ITV News.